Why, hello everyone, welcome back to Playframe and Psychonauts. We've got some theater troubles to sort out today. Um, let's see, let's review our tools. We've got different sets, which I think we can uh, change sets by jumping through that little uh, portal thing there. We've got different lighting, two options we can cycle uh, between for different moods. And also we have, I guess at this point we just have the one play, but maybe eventually we will have different plays. Or maybe I can talk to her to uh, mix up the plays. Well, we'll find out. Let's start by uh, just... Switching up the mood on this particular one to see if we get any different results. All right. Ooh, spooky. Welcome to Hagat the Home School for Girls, where you will begin your long and painful training in the theatrical disciplines. Wah ha ha! But I don't want to study theater! I want my mom to come take me home right now! Your mom has a career and a boyfriend to think about. She doesn't have time for an ugly little girl like you. <laughs> there is nothing more tedious than the tears of an unlovable child. It's time to suffer for your art. Eh, not moving. All right. Uh, maybe we can run a different play. We do have some different figments to collect down here, at least. The bummer is that in the, uh, yeah, in the in the moody plays, they attack you. <laughs> can I, like, if I can go away? That'd be nice. Oh, good, I can. Fantastic. Okay. Now let's gather these figments in peace. Ooh. I can climb up here, though. Uh, help. Come on. All right, I am up here. Hey, there's the hot air balloon I need to get to the catwalks. Now, if I could just get them to do a play that brings it down here, I could ride it up to the catwalks and take care of that phantom. Okay, so it seems like this particular set and this lighting might be the uh, ticket needed for getting up there. I just need to find the right play to lower that. At least it seems like that. We'll find out. Let's try... Hmm. Can I use this to, uh... Well, maybe I need to talk to her. Let's find out. Uh, yeah. Becky, can we see the night of joy again? Yeah, that one can use a little work. Mother, mother, tell me true. How the dad I never knew. He was brave in thought and deed. Can't you hear his mighty steed? Yeah, just ride on by, Sir Deadbeat Dad. Don't hang around to help raise your poor daughter. Jerk. <laughs> uh, every play is adding dimension to this backstory. Okay, let's change set. Ooh. Neat. Wherefore art thou, O elusive male boat? How I yearn for the shores of my loneliness to be creased by your sturdy keel! <laughs> the male boat ain't coming for you, girly. The male boat may never come, but I think I see the male train approach it through yon tunnel. Indeed, you have been fooled and burned. Outstanding. None of these plays are very good. Ah, I'm being attacked. Oh, 
Ah, the actual set is attacking us, I think. Yep. Oh, no, wait, that's just like bats. Good heavens. Theater is painful. Uh, let's try running the knight set here. Maybe that will actually take out the dragon, I wonder. Uh, can I just... Yeah. Yay! We solved it. Father has nobly smoked in the face to his own death. He is a hero. Yay! For the record, not a bad kisser. All right. Yeah. Stop attacking me. Now, can I climb on top? Yeah. And that'll get me access to. A new play, the day, the day the mail boat finally came. Hooray. Uh, do kind of want to see this one with happy lighting, though. Stop. Stop. You're all terrible. Yeah, let's make them more friendly. There we go. That's better. Oh, my dear mother! Do you not love my new seaside mansion? Bought with a fraction of the wealth my overnight success has given to me? Yes, Gloria, my daughter. I only live to make you happy. We are so lucky to be together again so that I could share it all with you. And also that you are not even jealous of my youth and fame, though my star has risen so much faster and grown so much bigger than that of yours, which has so quickly faded. Yes! <laughs> okay. Anything else to gather up? Yeah, okay. This is much nicer. Much less antagonistic. How do I even get up there? There's another portal up there. Yeah, I don't think I can get up there. So easy. Maybe there's another play I can come... F from to I don't know. We'll uh we'll figure it out. Let's I guess let's go ahead and run the night thing here just just to be safe. Uh Yep. Yep. Uh Nope. <laughs> All right, we've heard those lines. Thank you. And nothing. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's turn in this other play. Oh, another script. The day the mailboat finally came. Uh oh. Prop department. I'm gonna need a boat on stage right away. Okay, people. Laces, everyone. And well, let's see it. Action. Are you Miss Gloria Von Guten? Yes. Well, then these bags and bags of lavender-scented fan mail must be for your beautiful self. Yay! Hmm. Happy and sad versions of this play are not lining up at all. Uh, and I still can't get up there. Darn, whoa! Where are you going, boat? 
Hmm. Well, okay. Let's uh, switch up mood again real quick just to see how the mail boat turns out in Bummer's Town. All right, and... Becky, can you hear me? Must be out of range. Oh. Fine. Becky, can you hear me? Must be out of range. Fine. Becky. Uh... This one. The day the mailboat finally came, there's another run through, I think. Yeah, that one could use a little work. I say, I believe I do see the mailboat approaching. Oh, it was never a vessel more beautiful and resplendified. Sorry, no mail for you, ugly girl. Such strongly opposed moods. Okay, uh, we need to go to a new set. Alright, let's let's jump through here, see what it does. It's probably gonna take us back to the previous set, right? It is, but we have a different play we can run on this. Which will maybe get us access. I feel like we need a new script to get a new prop on stage to get up to that other thing, right? Probably? Let's find out. Come help me drag this thing. Drag? No way. Oh, look! The mailboat sank and everybody died. The end. I guess we don't really have any water, huh? Let's uh, try this with a positive mood. You see what I mean about the play of this level, right? Super clever idea. Just, uh, doesn't lead to fun play. <laughs> oh, who would have thought that I, Gloria Von Guten, would be starring in my old Broadway musical at such a young age? I hope my mother is proud of me. Well, here it goes. Huzzah! Forsooth, what is thine sweet smell in the air? Let us spin and be happy, entwined in this pole of love, forever young and twisty. Rejoice, for spring has besat in upon ourselves, and the spirit of May is a lingering. Is, is this a different set than we were on before? I thought this was the same one. I may be wrong. I mean, it clearly must be somewhat different. <laughs> There's new figments and everything. Yeah, I guess the other one had like a tree or something. Yeah. Well. Or I just didn't actually like stick around long enough to see this play happen before I changed the mood. One or the other. Can I climb this? Mm, no. That's fine. Uh, alright. Let's try some other plays. Uh, that one. Right. Yes. Okay, that one we did see. Uh, we can change the mood, but I don't think that's gonna make any difference because we have seen this in some form before. Do you have anything new to say up there? New scripts? Excuse me, Mr. Rolls. 
But do you have any more scripts? Ah, you've tasted excellence, and now you're back begging for another bowl of quality theater? Not really, but I think that if I find a play that moves the props around in just the right way, I can use them to get up to the catwalks and fight the Phantom. Unfortunately for you, that's the last script I'll waste on this theater. I'm saving the rest for Broadway. Just dig around the sets. I'm sure you'll find some horrible scripts in there. Oh, except do not do that, because they certainly would not help you get to the catwalks, which are very dangerous anyway, so give up. I feel like I should keep trying a little longer. We do need to find more scripts, though. That is definitely so. Let's try some other uh, plays on this set, though. Uh, well, we can try it, right? Okay, let's uh, change sets, because this is not getting us anywhere. I need to figure out how to get up on top, although it seemed like in the, like, the sad mood form, that little pathway is blocked off. But I haven't got any way to get up there. Huh. Let let's try it. Right, so now, come on, there we go. Come on. Okay, let's clear out all the hazards. Wonderful. Now, can I climb the dragon? Yes. Then it doesn't lead anywhere. Ah. Uh, okay. Don't know what happened there. Can I, uh... Huh. I can... The dragon's glowing. I wonder if there's anything I can do with it. Come on. Lay me up. There we go. So yeah, this is nothing. I need... Huh. What am I missing here? There's gotta be something that's gonna get me up there. I don't know what yet, but something. Huh. Doing a great job, Becky. Hehe. <laughs> yeah, gotta say nice things every now and then. Morale is important. Okay, we've seen this play. The boat's here. The boat's a lot shorter than I wish it was. Right, we've seen the play. Good. Hooray. Alright. Boat's here. Not enough to get me up there, though. And up there is definitely where I need to be. Huh. 
Oh, but jumping on the boat takes me to another set? It does! Okay, that's what it was. I see. All right. set. Wonderful. And here's a new script. Hooray. All right. Goodbye, Hag at the home. All right. Cool. Let's uh, go ahead and run through everything on this set just to make sure we got uh, everything we might need here. Whoops. <laughs> There's even a stage version of uh, going into water. That's great. It's those little details that make a game like this so special. All right, let's, uh, I guess start by, well, grabbing this figment, but then let's go ahead and switch up the mood. Well, actually, no, it's easier to uh, go ahead and run through all the plays before switching the mood up. Let's do that first. Uh, not what I meant to do. And... Okay. Okay, heard all these lines. <laughs> yes, though you would never think the thing that killed him was the drink. All right, next play. I don't think I need to be this completionist about it and seeing every combination, but some of them are pretty good. No! You okay down there? <laughs> All right, uh, let's hand over the new play. Goodbye, hack at the home. Hey, I, I think this is the one with the... Hey, props, is that hot air balloon still working? Yes! Let's hustle, people. It's showtime. Heck yeah! That means you too, kid. You gotta hustle onto that balloon if you want to get up to the catwalks. And... Action! Sigh! When will my father ever come take me home from this horrible school for girls? Do not worry, for I believe I see them floating here now in a magical balloon! What? There's no magic cloud in this set. No rats. Well, uh, let's just run around happily and maybe no one will notice. <laughs> uh, I'm sure it'll work. Run around happy. Uh, let's see the moody version of this set before we start going back and looking for the one that'll get us the balloon. Career. I mean, your career. No! Never shall I go! Worry not, baby daughter, for I every day shall write to you. Yes, and I shall mail the letters myself. Personally. Ha <laughs> ha! Hmm. Anything down there to grab? Probably aren't any uh, additional, uh, scripts, right? Oh, 
Uh, let's get rid of all those. Okay. I'm gonna grab a couple figments and then we will move on. Wonderful. Oops. Less wonderful, but still funny. Now, let's change set. Okay, we're here again. But I think the one we need is this one. Yes. I think this is the one. Yeah. Get out of here, shoot. I th think this will work. Let's try running the play. Uh. and be happy and never think of this terrible, terrible place again. Yay! The end. All right. Good story. Um, yeah. No. Bad. Bad? There we go. Fantastic. Now, we've got our route. Finally. No more bad theater. The critic has a point. And... And jump. And flip it around and here we go! Yes! Alright. Into the balloon. And up to the catwalks. Hmm. Let's see here. You know, actually, before we do this, let me teleport- okay, yeah, these are teleporters, by the way. Let me teleport down to the theater stage real quick. Because... There's a clairvoyance thing I want to try. Hello. Okay. Uh, ah, dog on it. These things again. No. There we go. Really appreciate that chain, <laughs> that chain shot thing that my bolts do now. Uh, okay. Clairvoyance. Here we go. And you. You see me as... I have got to get control over this production. Just a clipboard with goggles? <laughs> Alright. Oh, how does Benita Soleil see me? There's a question. Hello! I'm curious. You see me as... <laughs> a fan wanting an autograph. <laughs> uh... I love that. They, they had to come up with that... answer... for all the characters in this game, basically. Maybe not all of them, but a lot of them. Every one of them that you might possibly... be able to, uh, use that power on. It's so good. Ooh, is he awake? I want to try using it on him. What do you think? You see me as... <laughs> one and a half stars. <laughs> uh, it's hard to... Come on, it's got to be some way I can stand where that's more visible. Yeah, not really. But yep, I'm one and a half stars. <laughs> it's a good joke. Okay. Uh, let's get back up there.
Do 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 do. Come on. Eh. Nice. I'm so high up. Uh. Guess it's just the cobweb and a couple couple figments left. That's fine. There we go. All right. All right. Let's get back there. All right, back on the catwalks. Let's get looking for this here phantom. Hmm. Yeah, stop dropping things. No, bad. Stop it. Huh. I wonder. I don't have anything of the uh, phantoms, and I don't have any... Uh, Means of targeting him, but what if I just use just use clairvoyance? Ah, it doesn't work. Bummer. I was wondering. Okay. Uh. This is my sanctuary. And swinging. There we go. Looks cool up here. Or it will be the last thing. Um. Oh boy. Whew. I am the Phantom. Come on. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> Thought I missed. Was very scared for a moment there. Oof. <laughs> Boing. Okay. Whew. Those are scary. Jumps. Uh okay, we're sliding. Yeah, here we go. Yes. There we go. Nice. No. I see you down there. Hey! hey. No! <laughs> Come on! Darn sensor. Uh, your step? Zap! Uh, I say... Zap! There we go. Zap! Hit him! I don't think it's working. Okay. Climb. And... How's this even gonna work? Stop it! There we go. Uh, tag, great. Eh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, no. This is a very large backstage. This is my sanctuary. Yes, I remember. Eh. Okay. Eh. And boing. Yes. But it will be the last thing you do. Can I climb this? Whew, good. I am the Phantom. You are out of dialogue, it seems like. <laughs> eh. Swing. Oh boy. These are some nerve wracking swings. Eh. Okay, there we go. Nice. Okay. And the jumps. And the jumps. There we go. Yes. No. No sensors. Ah, they're large. They're very large sensors. They're very large. Die. Die. Whew. Okay. Uh, ah, jeez. Three, four, five. Okay, takes five shots. Take out those bigger ones. Uh, which way am I supposed to go here? I have two routes. Ooh, hey, yes. Yes, 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 yes. And we got this thing. Uh, ah, jeez. That's so many. Whew. Yeah, that chaining shot thing is saving my life out here. And now you. Gloria's Fallen Star. All right. It's the, uh, her name up in lights everywhere. Her just setting the stage on fire being so popular. Everyone loves her. She gets some mail that upsets her. Ah, uh, it's her mother's suicide. And that... Why did she open that on stage? 
<laughs> uh, it's probably figurative, but even so, from there, uh, she starts kind of getting this, uh, bipolar sort of thing. Bipolar is probably not the right word, or maybe it is. I'm not sure, but, uh, y'all know what I mean. Just kidding. I am the <laughs> Okay. I wish there were more lines for the Phantom so that it wasn't repeating so much, but they are good lines, the ones we have. No, don't drop those on me. Stop it. All right. Uh, jump. Oh, boy. Some of these are some scary jumps. Yeah. Yes. Perfect. Now get out of here, all he is. Perfect. All right. I'm nailing it. You are not welcome here. Yeah, but I'm nailing it, though. Hey, I got all the emotional baggage. And... Gotta be getting pretty close to the end here. Ah, two, three, four, five. There we go. Now run for it! Ow! Oh, he's dropping a lot more now. Okay. Maybe it's time for some invisibility. Uh, let's try that instead. Uh, okay. Yes. Whoosh. That's the ticket. And... Oh. How dare you violate the sanctuary of the Phantom. <laughs> Stop, or your next step will be your last. Give me that candle. Uh, ooh, I want to test something. Okay. Uh, clairvoyance. Candle. Hmm. I'm not getting anything. I must be out of range or something. Huh. I'm not getting anything. Can I? No, I all right. Bummer. It's worth a shot. All right. Uh, I want to see what the phantom sees me as. Okay. Uh, and, oh, need some fire. Okay. Uh, let's put that one on this. Boom. Ah, cruel sunlight. Anything but that. <laughs> it's just such good little animations. You shall pay for angering. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Now just stay put so I can come punch and unmask you. He's not doing what I said. That dork, come back here. Uh, oops. Let's see, I need... <laughs> need that unbuilt... Need that ability I just unequipped. Boy, I wish I had more slots. All right. And ha! There we go. Yes. And... Okay, Phantom. It's time to find out who you really are. What? I totally guessed that. Uh-uh. You said it was Becky. Okay, the jig is up, Phantom. What? Why, I never... How dare you accuse me of being the rugged and romantic scoundrel that has thrilled and terrified audiences for years? Yeah, I guess you're right. He's so agile and limber and... thin. He could never be you. Why, you... Of course it's me! Well, it's time to hang up the cape, Tubbs, because your days of terrorizing the theater as the Phantom are over. Maybe as the Phantom, but he's nothing compared to the full, destructive force of an angry critic! <laughs> How can I say this and still sound cool? Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me? Uh, that's another fun boss fight in concept. Though I will say, that is one thing that I hope for from Psychonauts 2. Just maybe lay off of the, uh, 
like, weight jokes that are not quite so cool anymore. <laughs> Weren't really cool back then either, but... Alright, we got candles. So this, this is the thing that I love the most. He's shooting at us. Criticisms. <laughs> Vulgar. Foul. Tired. Foul. Shallow. Tedious. <laughs> it's just... It's so creative and I love it. Okay. Let's get up there. Now. You can't hit me. I'm too evasive. Ah, darn it. I'm not evasive enough. Stop it. Come on. Get up there. There we go. Yes. Okay. Uh, put a candle in that. Do I have to equip it? Is that what's gonna happen? Tedious. Candle. Okay, got one in there. Great. Uh, let's good dig out. What? Yes. Can I, uh, can I use clairvoyance on him now? Probably not, right? Nah, that's fine. Uh, just gonna give up on that dream and set it on fire. Not up to the task. There you go. That light. I'll give you all good write-ups in the review if you kill that kid with the goggles. Kismax. Kismax. Uh, you pay for that one, Spotlight. <laughs> Take that wretched regurgitator of the sun. I, I don't know. No, all right, Raz, lay off. Uh, let's just see. I. I really love the voice actor for the critic. I don't know who it is. But he's fantastic. Alright, and boom. And fire! I'm gonna get ya. Okay. Ah, jeez. Keep firing. Ah, ah, oh, another spotlight. I thought I got them all. All right, let's get to that last one. I gave your brother over there, huh? How do you like that? <laughs> Raz, for real. Not cool. Just laid back. Ah. Okay. Ah, darn it. It can be hard to avoid sometimes. There we go. All right. And... Candle. Fire. Horrible hot beam of Oscar. Kill him before he gets <laughs> over here. Amazing vocabulary on that character. I'm jealous. Fire! Nah, stop setting me on fire. It's hard to win this way. Yeah! Excellent job, voice actor. All of them, really. And where would Not a dud in the bunch. Oh, the inner critic is getting so small. Hey, I think we did some good here. 
handsome. The spotlight is all yours. I believe I shall happily retire while I'm still young. Yay! Finally, recognition for my acting talents. Fantastic. Let's go see what she's up to. Where are you headed? What have you got attached to you back there? So one of your fans? It's <laughs> kind of clinging to you. What are you doing out here, Gloria? I can't remember the last time I came out here at night. It's so beautiful, isn't it? These plants could use a little water, though. Now, where's that hose? Ah, <sighs> well, I'll leave you to it. You seem to be doing better, actually. Hooray! Y'all, we did good. Have yourselves a good one, and I'll see you tomorrow when we do some more good. Actually, no, not tomorrow. I'll see you next week when we do some more good. Sound good? Great. Have a good one, and goodbye.